So, if you are aware of Rebel Wilson, the Hollywood actress, you know that she went from this to this, and that is one hell of a body transformation, and more power to her, that takes a lot of damn work. But I stumbled across this article the other day, actually someone sent it to me, cheap plug, Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. Rebel Wilson says pitch perfect contract has claws that she couldn't lose weight. Now look, I don't know what goes on in Hollywood, I'm sure this isn't exclusive to her, and I'm sure it all ties in, I just found it fascinating because of course, we like to talk about fitness. Rebel Wilson says she had a clause in her pitch perfect contract that said she couldn't lose weight. The Australian actor made her name in a series of hit comedies over the past decade or so. But she's revealed that she was put under pressure to maintain a curvier figure for her role as Fat Amy in the musical trilogy. I'm not laughing at that. It's just seems a bit on the nose. Following a meeting with a doctor at fertility clinic, the 42-year-old decided to lose some weight and get a bit healthier. But speaking on Alex Cooper's Call Her Daddy podcast, amazing name, Wilson claimed her contract with Universal stipulated that she had to maintain her current weight for the role in the Pitch Perfect movies. I did wait until Pitch Perfect seemed like it was over, she said. I couldn't lose a massive amount of weight because it was in the contracts for those movies. You can't lose. I think it's not more than 10 pounds or gain more than 10 pounds. You kind of have to stay at that weight if it's in your contract. Now, obviously, this is not going to be the same for the superhero movies because there's such a, a long period between them. But I would imagine that Chris Hemsworth probably had this for his Thor stuff and maybe Christian Bell had it for Batman. I'm trying to think of other people. I don't know if The Rock has it because that's kind of, he is his own fitness brand if that makes sense. It is mad to, to think about that you could fall into a territory where you're not allowed to lose weight. Now I'm sure there was a huge period of her life where she was very happy being at that size and more power to her. But when you do get to the point you're also like, I like to lose weight now and you can't, I mean, I totally get it. It kind of ties into the other stuff we were talking about. I'm, I'm speaking completely speculatively here. We'll make up a name. Blue Towel Man. If Blue Towel Man is told, look, we want you to play Captain America, but we'd also like you to bulk up, there's every chance they will go on PEDs because everybody would. Why the hell wouldn't you do it? Someone's going to give this to you and probably monitor your health and say, oh, you're going to make millions and millions of dollars. I can't imagine somebody wouldn't be tempted by it. I mean, it's probably the same with this. She's smashing Hollywood. She's on top of the world. Everyone knows who the hell she is. So if that's what she's got to do to keep that success going... You'd absolutely sign up for it. You would. But I would imagine it kind of screws you up mentally too. Uh, but I had been thinking for a while, oh, I want to get healthier. And I was stereotyped into playing that fat, funny friend, which is so hard because I love those roles. I love those characters. But when I did want to get more things, I felt like I was being pigeonholed or very much stereotyped into playing fat, funny girl. Although she also admits that she made millions of dollars for doing that. So she's totally cool with it. Quite like Rebel Wilson. To me, it was not a negative whatsoever. But sometimes when you transform yourself physically, it can make people look at you in a slightly different way. There can be benefits it's to that and people say oh she's different now maybe we should cast her in different projects and as it says here as she was going on her fertility journey she lost 77 pounds which I'm so, that's just a massive round of applause i've tried like so many women out there i've tried fads and diets and things and before i'm like i need to do a really holistic approach to this my diet was mainly all carbs this is the main thing and that's when the article ends for no reason which was a shame but we should absolutely take that into account as well. It sounds like she just did the basically normal thing of doing cardio and make sure you're in a calorie deficit and do not forget that always works. But I just kind of found it fascinating because, well, for the stuff we've already talked about. If you are obese and you are overweight, there is nothing that I should be allowed to say to you because it's your choice. Now, I'm not saying Rebel Wilson is in this category. She's totally not. If you have gotten to, oh, you've gotten obese to the point that it's a risk to your health. I still wouldn't say anything because I don't know you and that's not right. I don't get to judge or, or, or have an opinion. But I do know I've got lots of fat friends, but they're living their life. They're ticking along. But if one of them did get to that point where I was like, you know, dude, this isn't good, you know, for your health and your longevity, of course I would pipe up and say something. It would be the same if somebody was taking copious amounts of weed, a drug that is totally illegal in most places in the world now and pretty much good for you should you want to do that kind of a thing. But if it was getting to the point of addiction and I could see it was negatively affecting their life, of course I would have a conversation. She obviously got to that point, but realized she needed to stay at that big weight. I suppose the thing for me is it kind of tied in to everybody's fitness journey. I hate that term, but we're going to use it all the time. Because so many people are like, it's a Friday, they're eating a pizza, they're eating some crisps, they're eating some nachos, a burger, they look in the mirror and they're like, man, I've let myself go. I'm going to start on Monday. Now, if you were Rebel Wilson in this, uh, in this scenario, you wouldn't start on Monday. You would start after a film was doing, but that is probably enough positivity to balance out whatever negativity brought from this. If you are just doing it because you want to do it, I'm just going to tell you this. It's a very weird segue, but <laughs> it's just what came into my brain. Don't start Monday. You're like, what do you mean don't start Monday? Start now. I mean it. Start now. So if you did that on Friday night and you just finished off your pizza, 
That's it. You've started your diet come Saturday. You may need a day to plan it out and figure out things, but most people know just eat less food than you were doing. Because I find the people that I do talk to 99% of the time, as soon as you've told yourself, oh, I'm going to start Monday, it means you're actually not going to start losing weight at all because you're prolonging it. You're giving yourself an extra two days to eat whatever you want, to do whatever you want. And you're perfectly entitled to do that. You're a human being with free will and choices. But there's also consequences to those actions. And I find the number one thing that helps people with diets is being focused and just telling your brain, we're going to do this because you can do it. You just can. If you go to a party and you're on a diet and there's a bunch of chips and dip, of course you want them, but you just don't have them. It's like right now, I want to record this video. So I push record there, I push record there, I talk into the microphone and all of a sudden we're doing it. It's the same with food. Now it's a lot harder because when we do get into a habit of eating junk food, your body almost starts to crave it and it gets a little bit addicted to it. So coming out of that, it just means the first week of your diet is going to be super duper hard or at least tougher than maybe the rest of it will be. Although you're still going to have peaks and troughs because once again, you are a human being. The most success that I see with the few people that I work with on this stuff, no one pays me, just friends and family. The ones that do say i'm starting right now and then within an hour two hours three hours four hours 24 hour period they're on it stay on it far longer than those who goes i'm gonna do it on monday because you get to monday and let's say you have a bad day at work or your partner breaks up with you i hope that doesn't happen or you know something really bad affects your life of course you're gonna come home and want to eat bad food it makes you feel good it gives you a dopamine release by that point if you've already established no i'm on a diet now you won't rely on that you'll find something else to rely on whatever that may be we all have crutches right and food is so easy because it's right there i know that's a very very strange way to get to that but i did i read that and i thought to myself wow it's almost like the anti advice that so many people would give you because she was contractually not allowed to do it and she really wanted to do it but i suppose the positive repeating myself was the money the fame the success and she's very good in those movies i like rebel wilson a lot like i do say but try and use that as any kind of catalyst that you may need as soon as you want to make a change in your life just make it right now. You are in control and there will be obstacles along the way. Of course there will be because nobody gets a free ride. But if you have the right attitude and you have the right focus, I promise you that when you get into your diet and it's established, I'm not going to say it's easy because it never is, but it's easier because you've been kind to yourself and you've been nice to yourself. You're not having yourself jump through hoops. You just woke up one day and said it's time to start the diet and you go downstairs and you have some granola or you have some Greek yogurt or whatever it may be. You have a smoothie. Everyone has a different way to do things. Even if it's just eating less of the crap you ate the day before, it still counts as a diet, right? So let's say on the Friday you had three cheeseburgers, two pizzas and a bag of nachos. If you have one pizza, one cheeseburger half a bag of nachos you're on a diet because you're dieting down now that would also mean you'd have to be doing that every single day which can't be very good for you but again we all make choices and we all go it from there so if you are planning a diet if you are planning to put on muscle or whatever it may be you want to start doing cardiovascular activity you want to get your 10,000 steps in do it right now not if it's late at night that would be weird in the morning though get up six seven eight nine a.m whenever it may be and challenge yourself and push yourself because you will be amazed at what you're able to do. You'll be amazed about the amount of willpower you'll be able to summon up and you'll be absolutely amazed about your discipline. So many people are like, oh, I don't have very good discipline. It's because mentally you're not even giving yourself a chance. You're already telling yourself, I have bad discipline. If I ever start a diet, it's going to fail. But it won't do. Everybody can do it. You just have to find what works for you. You just have to find the exercise plan that you enjoy. And within you know six months to a year, it will just become your lifestyle and you can still eat nice treats and you can still go out and have you know move meals with friends etc but you will have just found a way to make it consistent and make it part of your every day and when you do that it's like getting up in the morning it's like cleaning your teeth it's like washing your armpits it just is like at eight nine ten o'clock not that early ten o'clock most people go to bed you don't have to go to bed but you choose to do it because it's part of your routine and eventually you get tired and if you eat too much food eventually you're going to get fat so if you go the other way eventually you're going to lose the fat Always keep things simple. Always keep things straightforward. Always keep things within your own field of view. Don't get taken away by anybody else. And I promise you, you'll absolutely lose that weight. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell ding dings. So if you don't have visit going live, there will be a video on the screen. Please do give it a click. Otherwise, grillmind.com forward slash Simon. Just go to Simon to get 10% off. Simon to 316 Instagram and Twitter. Same with Patreon. Talking way too fast. Patreon.com forward slash Simon to 316. I'm on Cameo, the video sharing service, if you would like a video. Also, I have t shirts at prowrestlingtees.com and Samson Athletics. Use the links in the description below so we can just track the sales. Very, very helpful. I think that's everything. I've probably forgotten something, but it doesn't matter. We'll just say subscribe again because that's the most important thing. Otherwise, make sure you go on that diet today if you've been promising yourself. Do yourself a favor. Give yourself time. Remember, it will take a little bit. You know, it's not going to happen in one week, two week, three week. Probably give yourself three months before you start seeing proper changes. But that ain't nothing, man. It will fly by and then you'll feel all warm and fuzzy in your tum-tum.